Hi, welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to take a quick look at uh, collections in Retrobat. Uh, there's a few different ways you can do this. You can do the kind of standard built-in ones, or you can create your own, or there's some dynamic ones. So let's, let's jump in and have a quick look. I've had, had a few questions this on Discord, so I thought I'd make a quick quick video um, to help try and explain it. Much easier than trying to type type a response. So uh, obviously in front of us here, we've got the, uh, the build. If you haven't seen this yet, obviously there's videos on this and, and links in the video. If you want to grab a copy and have a look, um, especially a, a build for Retrobat, which covers every single system currently supported. Um, so yeah, <laughs> without plugging that. Uh, so yeah, we go into the menu, just hit and start on the controller here. Uh, and if we go down, we've got game collection settings. Now you see there's, in here you can sort of do a bit more than just collections. Um, uh, so at the top one here, we've got display systems. So we've got turn three selected. If we go into here, you can, this is basically where you can turn stuff off. If you want to just like hide it, um, you don't want to go and delete the system or anything like that. Um, you just want to hide it and you know simplify the interface. Maybe you can go and uh, and untick which ones you want to get rid of. If you go right down to the bottom, it's quick sometimes. It's such a big long list to go to the top, and it kind of scrolls around to the bottom anyway. So if do uh, select all, or also you can do select none and then start ticking the ones you want, whichever way you want. Um, so that basically de determines what appears on the wheel. Uh, there's automatic game collections, which I've turned on for the moment, just because I, I was making sure the theme was up to date. But if you do none, then you can go through. So all games, so by default, you've probably got things like all games, last played, your favourites. Um, I think arcade is on by default. Um, possibly like the light gun and wheels and that kind of stuff are put on by default. Um, so I just come back out. It'll just refresh this, the theme Obviously, once you change the layout. So all the systems kind of start here, top of the alphabet, as you know, um, 32X starts is the top because it's, um, it's basically, uh, it sees it's 32 rather than take 32. But anyway, so Retrobat is kind of the main menu item, I guess, where you go in, you can launch emulators if you want to test them or update them. Um, and then above here is where you'll find those ones we just ticked. So the, the last played, the light gun, the favorites, arcades, all games, and then above that, we're at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the wheel, if you like, right down at Z. We can work our way back up that way. Obviously, it's a wheel, so you can go you can go up or down. Um, so here's the ones that just appeared. So, like I say, they're fairly standard ones. But if we go back in, um, and go back in here again. So, like, like I say, you've got the automatic ones there, and then they've got a whole bunch for for the genre, you know, the action, beat beat me up, all that kind of stuff. Beat beat M up. Sorry, pinball. So a whole bunch of different sort of ones which retro bat guys have included uh, and then there's ones the different uh, there's arcade systems so you can turn these on as well and they have all the games uh, and different playlists like this so it's a massive amount so all these are built in like I say you just pick the ones you want and it will uh, it'll create some collections on the wheel for you know like these ones are also like the different arcade systems so you can do all that that's great um, there's group systems which is slightly different so this is where you've got multiple systems say for Amiga if you tick these uh, they'll appear under one item on the wheel um, mess is quite a popular one because obviously mess was well it was it was a like a sister program to, to MAME to show um, basically you to emulate like home consoles home computers that kind of stuff um, but it's since been kind of you know, merged into into MAME and um, if you're familiar with it MAME now has the uh, the idea of software lists and those software lists are basically you have the main ROM set for main, which is the arcade machines, and then you have the software lists, which are all the kind of consoles and computers um, that it emulates as well. Um, but traditionally, that's been they can be grouped under MESS. Um, so here's all kind of you know the Archimedes, BBC Micro, all the kind of home computer type systems um, that fall under MESS. You can group them all together if you want to. Um, and there's a few more on here, like MSX, you can group those all together. All the ports, we have various ports that are supported in here. Um, you can either have them as separate items on the wheel or group them all under one uh, one item called ports. So like I say, yeah, there's a whole bunch under here. So again, all that you can do is you know out of the box, you just tick what you want. And it takes take care of it, takes care of it. Um, uh, the kind of custom ones are here. So editable basically means you can you can uh, give a name to your collection. Um, whichever name you want. So let's 
I don't know, as an example for this one. Let's make it make sense. Oh, sorry, look nice with the <laughs> capitalization. Oh, jumping about a bit. I'm trying to be too quick with the controller. Mario. Okay, so okay, a new collection called Mario. So there's nothing in there at the moment. So then what I can do, so this is basically like, uh, I guess like favorites. So now, you know, for the favorites um, uh, collection, you'd go into different systems and go, right, that's my favorite. If I long press the A button on here, I can say add the favorites. But also now you'll see you've got now got Mario. So this is basically like a custom collection you've created, given it a name, um, and then you can basically manually add all the games you want into it. You know, like, you know, um, I don't know, my arcade memories or that kind of you know, stuff. You know, and you can add all the games you remember playing as a kid in the local arcade into that collection. So it's basically a, a completely custom collection that you can add. So I'll go back to it now. We should have one game. Actually, no, we have to hit the menu. Start, on, start button to bring up the menu. Go to game settings and just update game lists just to refresh. Uh, did I add it? Did I actually add it? I thought I did. Let's try again. Maybe I didn't actually click on it. Maybe I just talked about it. Right, refresh again. Well, one game. So you can see it's, it's showing the video art for that for a lad in there. If I go into I've got Aladdin. So like I say, it's a it's a it's a, a manual a custom manual collection if you like. Um, and then if I go back into game collections, I see where have I got now. So I've now got another entry up here called custom game collections, and I've got one. I've got the Mario one, so I can turn that on and off um, to get rid of it, and it won't appear. Um, to actually delete it. I think if I leave it turned on, do I delete it from in here? I can't remember now. There must be a way. Must be a way to delete them. So we've got delete game, which we don't. We've got. We can remove it from that collection. So that's probably a good thing uh, to find out. So custom game collections. We've got Mario. Turn it off because we've got nothing in it anyway. Let's create from theme. So this is depending on what theme you've got, it will have a whole bunch of extra folders in there, kind of like pre-set up, ready for you to use um, for your collections. And obviously this this theme's got quite a lot. So we've got a whole bunch. Is that Mario on there? I don't know if that's mine or not. I think it was. Obviously, it's got the same name, so it's just going to have the same games in it. Let's try and pick another one. So, game collections. Create a new editable one. Let's do 19xx. It's near the top. So, all this means is there's a folder in the theme that's got this artwork and stuff ready. So, like I say, there's nothing, nothing there now. You still have to. Um, so, if I was going to go to arcade games and find so the 19. XX games, long press, uh, add to custom collection. Now, because I've got more than one, obviously, it's no longer that right hand menu. You have to select from the list side of the yeah, 19XX. And then basically, okay, let's add 1942 as well. Let's add that to 19XX. And now, so it appears on the wheel. Again, it's got, you have to refresh the game list just for it to reread. A config. And now you see we've got those, got those two games in there. So, so all these up to now are kind of like manual collections. If you want to get a bit more clever, you the last option was to go into collections. There's a dynamic collection. So let's give it. Uh, uh, I was going to do Mario, but I've already done that. So let's say, let's 
say Sonic. Oh, see, all uppercase like that. That bugs me. Let's make it look proper. Okay, so we got Sonic is the name of our new collection. And then here's where you can do the dynamic stuff. So you can just say, well, you can tell it which which systems to look across. So I look across all systems to populate this. Or if you're creating your own custom arcade collection, for example, you might untick everything and just tick MAME or Final Burn Neo or one of the other arcade type systems if you just want to make a collection based on arcade. But by default, everything's turned on. So we can say find games. So I can say anything that's got Sonic in the name. Obviously, I'm thinking Sonic the Hedgehog, but there's going to be a few other games that have that word in the title. Um, so if I go back, see now it's created me a go back again. See, and there's also the artwork already set up for for this one in the in the theme, which is I guess a bit of luck rather than judgment. It's also a folder in the theme called Sonic with this artwork in. But so we've got 67 games in this collection, and here's all the. Uh, I say most of them are actually Sonic, apart from <laughs> Sonic Blast Man, Sonic Boom. There's a few in there, so I don't know whether you could. You found one that didn't match what you wanted. <laughs> so many Sonic games. Ah, Super Sonic Future Pimple game. Right, so if I like held on it, for example. Yeah, see, it's dynamic. I can't, um, I can't take it out the uh, out of the group. So you kind of have to be careful what you search for. Um, but if I go back into those dynamic groups, I want a new dynamic collection. Let's call it something that's probably not going to be in the theme this time. See now, rather than find it by name, you can say, okay, any, you know, I want one that's, you know, I don't know, well, there's, there's adult, obviously you could have an adult, adult there, but there's a whole different, you know, all the genres that it finds, you can create one based on those, family, so again, so the family of games, so things like all the Aerofighter games, uh, all the Aladdin games, so I guess it might be easier down this list of course, it's rather bomb. Whether there is a, a Sonic family of games, of course, yeah. We we'll pick one right at the end. <clears throat> Sonic the Hedgehog. So you could pick that as a, and then obviously a number of players. You want, want all two-play games or four-play games, etc. Certain publishers, the year. Um, a collection of ones you've already played. If you wanted to kind of uh, track that kind of thing, region. So yeah, um, the, the have media, missing media ones is, is quite a good one if you want you're working out what, what media is missing. And again, we've got you know vertical games. So yeah, there's a whole bunch in here that you can create. And like I say, or you could create your own based on a search. So um, I think that's kind of it for the. Um, and you see here because I called it test, and obviously there's no artwork inside the. Uh, in the theme, no, yeah, sorry, in the theme for, for a, a, a wheel called Test. So it's just giving me a default, default wheel item there, default Mario and uh, Luigi. Um, so then if you, know, you create your own one with your own name, you then want to probably go into the theme, have a look at the structure, create a folder called, in this case, Test, put the relevant artwork inside it, and it'll, it'll pick that up. So I think that was about it. Like I say, they're just, once you have these, um, custom collections how do you delete them I mean you can like I say you can turn them you can turn them off so they don't appear in the wheel um, but I will double check how you actually remove them because uh, <coughs> you could end up with a few if you kind of create some and then turn them off again but maybe not a big deal and I'm sure manually there's probably a file sat somewhere um, that you can delete um, but anyway other options in this screen while we're here um, so basically how you sort you will normally, you do alphabetically, um, by manufacturer, hardware type, all that kind of stuff. So you can, how you sort the wheel. Um, and then when you start to go back to um, 
basically you can start on any system you want all the time or last one selected when you when you close retro bat um start on a particular games list i don't know if that will then pick you ask you which one to start on i'm gonna double check that one um group custom collection so if you want to group them what it would do it create a single item on the on the wheel called collections and then when you clicked into it then you'd list all your collections inside it rather than trying to make your wheel um, too big so it might be if I see if I if I turn these ones back on again and we'll leave uh, a group turned on see I've now got one called collections obviously there's artwork for this if I go into it here's my collection on the left so I've got you know the 19xx one the Adams Family Mario Sonic um, and also the, the test one with no artwork and then once you go into them you then get the games list so it just kind of like breaks it down or you know, I guess simplifies your wheel a bit puts all the collections in one place under one item but again preference whether you want that or not so let's go back down here and just turn that back to never show system names within the collections so where you've got a collection of multiple games all the Sonic games I had it were un after the game name, it would say brackets Mega Drive or Genesis or brackets Snares, so you know which uh, uh, which system that game's from. Um, so again, if you put a collection together and it's pulling a whole bunch of games of different systems, but one of those systems maybe for whatever reason you've hidden off your wheel, um, you basically have the option of whether to show that inside the collection or not. Um, and then this is a, a general thing, so. Um, if you've only got a small collection, if you have this by default, I think this will be this will be off again. I think I had that turned on for checking the theme to make sure all systems had artwork. But normally, yeah, you'd have that off. So if you only had you know five different systems on here, you'd only have five items for them on the wheel. Whereas if you turn that on, it will show you every single system you can possibly have. But obviously, a lot of them are going to be empty because you've got no games there yeah, and they won't show up. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for that. Um, for that, what I'd do is quickly check around the uh, around how to delete a collection because I think that's quite important. I'm pretty sure in here. So if we go into the uh, emulation station, emulation station again, possibly. Uh, then we've got collections. And so you'll see in here you've got the configuration, you've got the um, uh, the various bits and pieces uh, for those collections. So Adam's family, etc. I think it's just a case of coming in to delete the files you want, want to delete, so I'm going to delete them all. If I hit the right key, helps. So I delete that, and then if I just spin up RetroBat again, screen wheel, there we go. So if I have a quick look in here now, those. I mean, there's nothing showing here. If I go into games collections, see the, the option here disappeared because there's no, uh, there's now no custom custom uh, collections. Um, so that's it. So that's what it sounds looks like at the moment. There's no option inside uh, the GUI um, to delete it. Maybe that's something they're looking at uh, adding. It'd be handy, wouldn't it? If you created it and then you change your mind or made a mistake and you wanted to delete it, maybe you spelt it wrong or something, or just didn't want it anymore. So, so yeah, um, yeah, that's it. So delete the file and it's gone. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for collections. It covers everything. Like I say, there's the kind of a lot of the standard ones built in and probably cover most of what you want. Um, and then <clears throat> the ones where you can just create and then manually add it to, but that's pretty much the same as favorites. So you've got favorites here, which you can manually add and remove games to. And if you've got stuff in them, you can just highlight. Also, yeah, go to it, hold down A, and then you've got removing favourites, and it'll take it out of your take it out of your favourites list. But obviously, you can create other ones. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, obviously, as usual, it wasn't like a, a planned stage of video. I like to do stuff on the fly. So if stuff goes wrong, we can actually fix it. But yeah, that's kind of collections, and that's that's how to do it. Um, any info, give us a shout. If you want to check out the build that I've got on screen here, like I say, you know, check out the other videos. Uh, this is the one build by Pixel Nostalgia. Um, it's one that the team have put together, like I say, to cover every single system 
covered by retro or support by retro currently uh, and the basis is that it's a best of collection so you these aren't like every single game for every single system because that'll just make it huge and you know not everyone's got infinite storage to store this kind of stuff especially when you get onto like the disc based systems like ps1 ps2 if you had a complete collection for those it would just be terabytes and terabytes so what we've done here is create a best of that's kind of that curated list of the most popular um, highly, you know, highly ranked or you know, highly scored games for each system. Um, some of the smaller systems that you know got, got tiny little file sizes for the ROMs, we've we added more. Um, some of the bigger systems, some of the CD-based systems, have got less. But there are some add-on packs coming that are going to make those bigger. So you have then have the option if you've got the disk space to uh, to increase your increase your collection. But again, still just kind of including good games and popular games rather than some. You know, random games that are just a bit rubbish <laughs> that you never play anyway. So yeah, anyway, hopefully um, this was of some use. Um, I hope you enjoyed the build. Give us any feedback, or feedback on, on the video as always, and uh, catch you on the next one.